Box 11 Mendelian Laws. The most striking attribute of a living cell is its ability to transmit hereditary properties from one cell generation to another. The existence of heredity must have been noticed by early humans who witnessed the passing of characteristics like eye or hair color from parents to offspring. Its physical basis, however, was not understood until the first years of the 20th century when, during a remarkable period of creative activity, the chromosomal theory of heredity was established. Hereditary transmission through the sperm and egg became known by 1860, and in 1868 Ernst Haeckel, noting that sperm consists largely of nuclear material, postulated that the nucleus is responsible for heredity. Almost 20 years passed before the chromosomes were singled out as the active factors because the details of mitosis, meiosis and fertilization had to be worked out first. When this was accomplished, it could be seen that unlike other cellular constituents, the chromosomes are equally divided between daughter cells. Moreover, the complicated chromosomal changes that reduce the sperm and egg chromosome number to the haploid number during meiosis became understandable as necessary for keeping the chromosome number constant. These facts, however, merely suggested that chromosomes carry heredity. Proof came at the turn of the century with the discovery of the basic rules of heredity. The concepts were first proposed by Gregor Mendel in 1865 in a paper entitled Experiments on Plant Hybrids, given to the Natural Science Society at Bro. In his presentation, Mendel described in great detail the patterns of transmission of traits in pea plants, which we discuss in detail below, his conclusions of the principles of heredity, and their relevance to the controversial theories of evolution. The climate of scientific opinion, however, was not favorable, and these ideas were completely ignored, despite some early efforts on Mendel's part to interest the prominent biologists of his time. In 1900, 16 years after Mendel's death, three plant breeders working independently on different systems confirmed the significance of Mendel's forgotten work. Hugo de Vries, Karl Korrens, and Erich Chermak, all doing experiments related to Mendel's, reached similar conclusions before they knew of Mendel's work.